recently we went on a Therizino taming spree over in Jotunheim, and from that taming spree, I actually managed to get some pretty good Therys, and I've actually been breeding them and mutating them over the last couple weeks to create this monster right here. We've got 30 health mutations, 30 melee mutations, so both of those stats went up by 60 uh, base points because one mutation carries two points and the rest of the mutations that you can see in the trees right there pretty much just came from all the colors which you can also see right there so we have some purple we have some pink uh kind of like almost like a i guess a brownie orangey red and then we have white now let me show you what this thing actually looks like because it doesn't really look like you would think it would look like the pink is really only pink when it's on like this white region because down here i don't know man it i guess it kind of looks pink some lightings it almost kind of looks purple I think maybe when it's super lit up like this it looks more pink I don't know man but uh yeah so we have uh the brownie like reddy color up at the top right there which I think goes pretty well with the purple and then the white just kind of balances it all out as just a nice neutral color to have with all of those and uh honestly I think that they're pretty they're pretty cool looking I've, I've done so many Therizino mutation builds over the years you know so it's kind of difficult for me to actually manage to get something that looks different from the rest and I feel like this is definitely different it looks a lot different from all the other ones that I've actually managed to get because usually they end up being blue or green somehow but uh yeah anyway let me show you the stats I haven't leveled anything in but this thing is of course imprinted this is what they look like when they're not imprinted oh wait no crap all of them are imprinted oh I thought I had one on me that wasn't yeah, I just realized I don't have a baby on me. Oof. All right. Well, anyway, they basically come up from like 20,000 health up to 24K. And then I think it's like 700 or something on the melee. But uh, yeah, let me let me show you guys these things. Do we have anything around here to go and hit? I guess we got that Tranodon over here. If we can actually manage to get it before it flies away. No, crap. All right. The Tranodon dream is, oh, wait, no, maybe. Can we run up this? I don't actually even know. I think we might. No. Okay, we can sort of. No. Come here, buddy. Come on. Everybody's waiting for it. <sighs> okay. Never mind. Uh, anyway, yeah. Let's uh, let's see if we got something else. We got a turtle over here. This is basically just to test out the damage on this thing because I haven't actually done that just yet. And oh, I forgot I had that on. There we go. Nice. So 606 is how much we do without the uh, without the mate boost or uh, you know the Uteranus boost as well. So. That would probably chuck it up above a thousand anyway at its base right here. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> as soon as I like hit any of these trees, we're just gonna immediately get overburdened. Oh wait, oh wait, no, we are actually are. Okay, yeah, there we go. Let me let me go ahead and drop all that. So Therizinos are great at gathering uh, wood, fiber, and they actually I think they can also gather thatch. How do you do it again? I remember somebody in the live stream was telling me. I think you have to hit right click and then no is that how you do it no that's definitely not hang on wait how do you do it again somebody was telling me how to do it and i can't actually remember is it c and then like right click there we go is that how you do it does that happen if i do this yeah okay so i didn't get any thatch there let me show you so you have to run up to a tree and then hit c and then right click and then that will give you thatch so weird little like hidden feature of it for some reason i have no idea why but um, yeah, anyway, the Therizinos are to fight the dragon boss because theories are pretty much the best thing to use against it. I mean, you can use Rexes and Spinos and stuff, but you know, Therizinos are, uh, are pretty amazing because they have their, um, their veggie cakes that you can have them eat during the actual boss fight. Let's just run on the table right here. Uh, you can do that. And then also herbivores, I think they take less damage from the fire or something. I can't remember the exact thing, but they take less damage from the dragon for some reason. I have no idea why. And uh, you know what else will help me take less damage? A bunch of saddles that are pretty decent, actually. So here's the blueprint that we have. It's just shy of 69% on the armor. And they are very, very expensive. I have been running around killing creatures for the last few days to try and get 67,000 hide because every single freaking time we do one of these boss fights i'm having to craft like 20 saddles so yeah luckily i'm able to fit exactly the right amount of materials in here to craft 18 of them and i almost freaking crafted that let me quickly grab we have some more of these in here yeah we do there we go perfect A little crafting skill potion let me drop that when we're over here and ready to go boom and let me get crafting all right where are you you're all the way down the end i probably could have used this to scroll that makes it a little bit quicker all right here we go 18 of these and boom sweet all right so guys go ahead do me a favor hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one it really does help me out i do appreciate it let's take a little look at these things um okay some of them aren't very good though i i spotted this one 
Are you kidding me? I don't think that's ever happened before. Is that even possible? That is so strange. Okay, so crafting skill was so, like, we, we were just on the exact opposite end that you want to be on that we actually managed to get 0.0%. .0%. Is that even possible? <laughs> what was the actual blueprint? Wait, wait, where is it? It's it's here. That's literally the exact blueprint. It, it basically gave me nothing. But <laughs> I mean, I know it's 0.0%, .0 but you think it might potentially be like a, a little number after that second zero that would just push it up by even just a tiniest bit weird all right well actually we kind of got shafted on some of these i mean they're not very good i mean this one's good uh this one's good as well yeah they're uh they're not super amazing okay we got some really good ones up here i just see a lot of like 72s and like yeah man that uh that kind of sucks actually yeah we've got like a bunch of them in the 70s that's really not what you want you want you want them to get a bunch on top of that, and some of them really didn't manage to do that. Okay, well, at least we got a couple 93s and stuff up here, so that's good enough. All right, I actually have some paints in here because we're going to go ahead and paint one of these saddles. Let me go ahead and just disable this. You can figure out how to do that on the mod page for that mod. Um, I will not teach you right now. So let's see. Let's go ahead and paint this thing up. So we got to kind of match it to our actual creature. We're going for red and white, and I think let's try and figure out where the straps Um the straps are where are they they're this one here so let's paint those white and then we could do the buckles as red which i think is this yeah there we go that actually looks pretty nice already look at that amazing uh we got kind of like the candy cane look going on right here so let's see uh hmm what do i want to do that kind of looks nice as red but yeah that looks way better as red it just turns into like a gray when we do that okay that one is red uh, is this going to turn gray as well? Yeah, we'll do that one is red and that one is red and then the other two is white because they're kind of like uh, On top of the other regions, I suppose. There we go. Okay, that looks pretty good So I got to kind of mem memorize this because I've got to do this another 17 times, which is kind of annoying So let's see. Uh, let me check you out Okay, yeah, that matches pretty well I mean, I could have went for pink instead, but I don't know the red looks much better. I think all right, well, anyway, uh, we got some levels here. Mm, probably just going to be pumping into the melee, to be honest. Let me let me just pump in got like 13 levels there. Let me just go hit something real quick. So we're coming up from 606. Let's see. Why are you in my base anyway? And okay, yeah. Yeah, so with all the leveling, we should be pushing around 1,000 damage, I would say. And then with the mate boost, and yeah, we're going to be doing some crazy damage. That dragon is shaking in its freaking boots right now. I don't know if dragons have boots. Probably not. They probably have golden boots, if anything. All right, so I got to get up to my treasure room because I actually also need to grab some artifacts to do this. And I don't think I have spares of all of these ones, but let me go check. So I've got the wiki page up beside me here. We need the artifact of the cunning. Let's grab that. What the hell? Give me that. Thank you. Uh, we need the immune and the sky lord and then the strong. Okay, so these two right here. And then we need the Sky Lord, which is over here. Perfect. Okay, sweet. So then on top of that, we're going to need uh, just a bunch of stuff, basically. Uh, let me go ahead and grab you real quick. Let me go check and see if we have everything that we need to actually do this. I'm going to need to do all these boss fights again at some point soon. I don't know if we're going to do that in a video or, or something. I have no idea, to be honest, because I don't know. It, I mean, we've already done the boss fights. Maybe I could do like a little live stream this week or something. I don't know. We'll see. See if I have time for that. But uh, yeah, so we need Allosaurus brains and all those stuff. Let's see. So we're short just two Allosaurus brains. We are short a crap ton of Basilo Blubber. We actually need eight of those on top of what we have now. We have the two Giga Hearts that I needed. I actually knew that I would need those eventually. Uh, we're going to need 10 Tuso Tentacles. Do I have those in here somewhere? I'm just not seeing them. Am I blind? Oh, there they are. Okay. Yeah, I'm clearly just blind. And then Uteranus Lungs, which... I'm very surprised that I only have nine of those. What the hell? And also, we're going to need 15 Rex arms. Dude, what the hell? There's so many. All right, so we have a couple things to go and grab, a little shopping list before we do anything. Uh, let me just chuck away this wood somewhere. So, yeah, I have to go ahead and uh, get all these saddles painted up, and then we can probably get all the fairies leveled as well. And then after that, we'll go hunting for all of these drops. And then eventually we can fight that dragon. All right, so I think we'll probably try to grab ourselves all of the Basilo Blubber first. So we just got to manage to find some. And they're always really common around like the coastlines. 
So I imagine we should be able to find one, if not over here, then maybe over in this direction. There's the Basilo, amazing! Okay, let me get this kill real quick, and then we'll just peace out and wait for it. Wait, do I am I still tickling him? There he is. Okay, come here. Let me get you real quick, buddy. Come on, almost. Hey, got him, and I got the blubber. We got two blubber. So yeah, we only actually need to kill three more of these things now. Let me go ahead and just drop everything else and continue the search. Okay, yeah, probably should have checked out the middle section. There's another one already, I think, right? Yeah, that's another one. What the hell? I swam all the way around the freaking volcano for nothing. <sighs> that's annoying. All right, well, anyway, here we go. Shouldn't be too difficult to find two more of them after this. What the hell's going on over here? There's like just a massive cluster of these things. Dude, what the hell? There's so many freaking sharks. It's crazy. Is that a Basilo? Yes, it is. Okay, we got to kill this Basilo before all these sharks catch up to me because that would be bad. I don't want to have to fight them all. Oh my God, the noises. Wait. Oh yeah, you don't hear the noises if you're out of the water with the camera. Or if you're in the water, whatever. Uh, Okay, oh, okay. Uh, we got to get out of here. Can I get out of here? I think, maybe. Uh-oh. Okay, we're going to have to fight them. Oh my God, there's so many of them though. Uh, I'm completely stuck. Like, I can't I can't get out of here. Uh-oh. Come on. If we can kill this alpha or something, that would be great. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? I'm actually going to die here. There's no way. There's no way we're going to be able to escape this. Maybe if I do this, will that launch me out? Nope. That didn't help at all. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Rip you so, guys. Uh, let me grab that. We're going to die. There's no way. I'm stuck. I'm just... Uh, uh, why... Why aren't they attacking me? I'm okay with this, but like, what is happening? Uh, okay. Again, I'm completely, oh, my mouse is, oh, the fucking stupid mouse is wigging out. All right, I got attacked right there. Now they're coming for me. I have no idea what the hell just happened there. <laughs> Rip, I gotta die. Here we go. Let me just take off the rest of the armor. Uh, so we don't, yeah, there we go. <laughs> what? Like, uh, did they just, did they just allow me to mourn or something? I am so confused by that. Like, what? There's no cuts there. I'm not, I'm not going to cut at all. Just so you can see that there's no weird, funny business happening. Is my, uh, my guy here? Uh-oh. Is he up here? Uh, is he on the roof? Maybe he might be. Let me see. Okay, yeah, some of my base isn't even loading in. There's my Fjord Hawk. Where'd you put my stuff? There it is. Okay. Yeah, they take a lot longer, I guess, now to, to come over. Well, that's upsetting. I mean, we lost the freaking, um... Damn it, we lost the two, so... But, I mean, there was no way. Like, I was just stuck. There, there was literally no way of getting out of there. I mean, I could have dismounted and put it away, but, you know... That's kind of a bit, a little bit cheaty. All right, great. I gotta make my folders again. Yeah, my guy just got freaking just eaten alive <laughs> so that's so upsetting i guess that's the issue when you're in shallow water like that with the two so there's really no way that you can get away once they swarm you like that you know you might be able to kind of like go up and down if they are all around you like that but there was there was no way it's just fat rip for the two so man well at least we we got all of what we needed Although I, I do have more of these to grab because if I if I want to actually fight the uh, the dragon a second time at some point soon, I'm going to need them too. Uh, okay. Well, we can figure that out when we get to it. All right. So we need to kill uh, four Rexes. We need to kill one Uteranus, um, and then two Allosaurus. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. Let me go ahead and pick you up and fix up the armor. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Wait, is that for this? Is that for all of these guys, or is that gonna be just on this specific feared hawk? Cause I haven't actually put out the previous video where I talked about that. So let me see. Is that nerf also for you? Yeah. Okay. So it's just across the board. I gotta say, I mean, like it makes sense. Oh wow. Okay. I guess you could be at the fire. That's fine. It makes sense, but at the same time, like that is a bit freaking wild. Like an hour cooldowns a lot, but I guess people on official probably were just abusing it because let's be honest it, it was very abusable i mean like i did a whole video where i just got free wyvern eggs for like the whole thing and then it got called clickbait for some reason even though they were technically free didn't really have to work for them at all could just easily just i guess i don't need to repair that i could have easily just you know uh just uh 
like killed myself 10 billion times over and, and gotten those eggs so i guess that's not really possible anymore unless you just want to grab one egg interrupting this video for a quick little shout out to one of my partners here on this channel apex gaming pcs they're an awesome pc company and we basically put together some arc capable pcs if you're looking for a pre-built definitely would recommend them there's always a discount link down below but wait there's more because you can actually get yourself 15 percent off one of these systems using code syntax and that offer is available until the 23rd of october go ahead and use it i mean if you're thinking of picking up a pc that is a major discount oh actually i should probably just show you guys what i did with the theories so uh we're going for the just straight melee build on these things because of course the way that we want to do this whole thing with the with the health is you want to be around like i would say you could go directly onto 21,000. that's the optimal amount of health to be at but you can go slightly above i didn't pump any levels in for these guys i just pumped them all directly into it's um it's melee damage so as you can see right there the 53 beside the melee is basically the amount of levels that we pumped in so um yeah they are super super leveled up and they do i think it's like 1130 or something like that for the damage so pretty amazing but um yeah so obviously that's not mate boost or anything like that so they're gonna do even more damage on top of all of that which is great so yeah anyway uh the the optimal build type thing is something that you can do i mean if you want you can make them tankier but if you have some pretty decent saddles uh you don't really need that much extra health on top of the twenty-one thousand because you're going for speed not longevity that's kind of the way that you want to try and fight this dragon because the longer you're in there the more he's gonna burn your boys this rex does not care either what is going on with creatures right now i'm so confused like the sharks all turned to freaking on a dime just left me alone and then came back for me which was weird but like that rex did not care at all <laughs> i'm so confused am i not intimidating anymore maybe not okay so we've got a rex over here and some aloes over there pretty amazing so yeah i think we just need to kill one more rex after this one uh because they do they give uh two arms or whatever there we go there's another rex and a tech rex which um, i think they, they also give the arms right i sure they do let me see one second we shall have you killed you're probably a super high level yeah you're you're gonna be like a max level okay no it's not <laughs> that's good uh i should oh, crap yeah i was about to say i should drop everything first because uh we're, we're too overburdened it's not gonna automate oh i didn't even see you wait did i not kill you i guess i didn't huh let me see um yeah so if you're too overburdened it's not gonna automatically put all the items into your inventory kind of annoying why does he look so plasticky oh yeah you know what there's so many rexes around here let me just go and gather them all up because it makes sense um yeah honestly i'm very surprised at my lack of apex drops i i really feel like i have some somewhere and i just haven't uh moved them across to the new base location or something i have no idea i really feel like i've, I've killed way more of these creatures and collected them because i really try to make a point of actually collecting these things as we go along so yeah very confused and we got you killed and you and have you got a brain as well there we go very nice three of those cool and one little rexy poo over here what are you oh there is something there okay i was about to say like is it just does he think he's fighting something <laughs> all right come on buddy and why are you like rubbery as well what is happening to the textures today all right so yeah we have way more than we need of those uh we need one yeah one one uteranus and then we're good right yeah sweet all right um probably should just go to jodenheim for that because they're everywhere over there and I'm, I'm really surprised that i don't actually already have all of those very very surprised about that i must have been just constantly overburdened or something when i was teaming up some uteranuses because really feel like i should have more of them all right gangrene let's find some uteranuses and then get the hell out of here so we can heat up our our nuts <laughs> all right let's see let me get down and around into this area here and hopefully we can find some real quick we only need one technically but if i see more i'll probably just kill them too hmm, i guess we could take a quick visit to the egg as well if we want to probably not i don't want to cry again Ugh, that is so frustrating like you guys haven't seen that yet that video hasn't been out just yet but i imagine there's going to be a pretty hilarious reaction to it because that is probably the unluckiest i've ever gotten <laughs> like a spoiled max level egg is just cruel in every single way 
Uh, hello. We got, uh, we got the freaking Utranus right here. And we're probably just gonna leave after this because it's really cold. And got you. I also got a Therizino as well. Um, gonna fly over here and teleport back because there's a bunch of wolves over there. Speaking of wolves, actually, um, we will be... <sighs> still have no idea where the spot is. I think it's this and then Northwest. I have no idea. Um... Yeah, speaking of the wolves, we're, we're going to have Fenrir here pretty soon, you know, because obviously we're going to fight Fenris, and it's going to give me a max level Fenrir, which is going to be cool. Really like that. But uh, at the same time, I'm, I'm super disappointed with that creature because it would have been really cool if they had actually included it as an actual creature that you could get. And you didn't have to fight the boss to get one. Yeah, I don't know. Would have been great. Like, change its taming method, make it more difficult to get or something. I don't know. But the way they did that, they just mishandled it so much. And it's not even breedable naturally. I mean, I know you can use mods for that. You can use mods for literally everything. You know, I could get a mod that would make this bat like the size of the world. But will I do that? Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Um, do you guys, do do we all want that mod? I feel like that sounds pretty good. But uh, yeah, my, my whole point is, is that, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's just a little bit disappointing that we didn't actually get uh, Fenrir as a natural, just normal creature that you can go and get. Like, a trophy tame is pretty cool and all, but at the same time, they're a really cool creature. What am I doing? Oh, yeah, I was going to grab out my Maywing. Like, trophy creatures are great and all, but, you know, just, again, would have been great to actually have it as something that we could use, you know, instead of uh, having it and then being worried that you might lose it. Actually, I'm curious if they're clonable. Probably not, I would say, but I don't actually know, so I guess we'll have to find out at some point. I do have to say, when it comes to the cluster, when we actually add this map over to the cluster, oh boy, Fenrir, I'm gonna go ahead and farm myself at just a bunch of those things, and I don't know, maybe we'll use some mods to actually breed them together or something like that. We actually already technically have a mod like that on my cluster, but yeah, that could be a thing. We'll see. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see how that all goes. I don't know when that's gonna happen, so... We'll see. Anyway, uh, we have everything that we need to go fight this dragon. We just need to bring all of our theories over to there and get my gear all ready as well. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do all of that. And then we shall fight this dragon boss and take it down, hopefully. We'll see. <laughs> By the way, we're also bringing a Uteranus and a Daedon. Just, just a heads up. Just crafting up the veggie cakes. I think I ran out of some stuff, though. Yeah, I'm out of honey, long grass, and raw carrots. All right. Okay, so some of the Therizinos are going to have three cakes, and then some of them are only going to have two. We're pretty much good to go now, so I think we're just going to fly on over to that uh, location and then set everything up, and we should be good to go. Oh, man. All right. Long time coming with this freaking dragon boss, but uh, there we go. I mean, once we've defeated this, that means we can fight Fenris, which is very, very exciting. I just got to wait for the thumbnail to get made because it's going to look really good if it, uh, if it turns out exactly as I have it in my head. So got to wait for that, though, unfortunately. Okay, this is the cave entrance to get into where we need to summon the dragon. Um, so, yeah, we're just coming in the back way. Let me show you real quick. So we are right here, uh, was that 86 and then 6 basically. You can find it really easily and uh, it's basically right down here. This is the easier entrance, I mean you could go all the way around, but this way just makes so much more sense. Wow, this room is very small, I mean it, it's not that small. I guess you know what, I wonder, hmm, does the whole ring take over this whole room when you summon in this, uh, this like boss bubble thingy, I don't even know. All right, we got all the theories. We need Lieutenant Dan, and do I already have the dead on? Is that in my hand? Yeah, there we go, sweet. I actually do need to go and grab some food for you, so let me get that sorted, and then you also have some levels as well. Uh, probably health, and I gotta get you all healed up, and probably food on you, so I gotta get you all fed up. Great. All right. So we have a little bit of extra work to do here, but that's all good. Let me get you guys all onto passive. And actually, let me get them all onto... Oh, yeah. I forgot about the harvesting thingy. Uh, let me get them all onto um, the harvesting settings. I want to turn off both of these. Well, I guess I don't need to turn off both of them. I just need the victim uh, item collection to be turned off. That way, once we kill the dragon, it's not going to uh, pick up any of the stuff. So we just need to copy that to every other theory, and then we should be good. And I guess I'll do that to the, uh, the Uteranus just in case. Although I'm going to be riding on you, so it's not really going to make a difference. All right, cool. Uh, let me get food for you and uh, health for you. Where's my snow owl? All right, so I completely forgot that we also need the relics to do this, but we should have everything to 
go now? Let's see. There we go. Nice. All right. So, uh, let me get my theories at least, uh, roared up a little bit. It might be kind of difficult to do. Oh, it looks like I got them perfectly all inside of here. So yeah, it's the full, uh, little stone platform that you want to get them onto. They are all roared now, right? Yeah, it only takes one roar from me to run us to these guys. Completely forgot. I thought it was two because for some creatures, it's like three or four. All right, here we go. Uh, let me see. Let me get my little soup on my bar. And I guess we can pop that right now. Here we go. Okay. So, uh, Dragon Arena. How much lava is in here, actually? I haven't actually been in here before. Uh, this is pretty much like a dragon castle, to be honest. Uh, let's see. Let me get everybody on follow. Uh, get them roared up as well, maybe. There we go. Very, very nice. Let me just run around a little bit. I don't know if he's going to start attacking or doing whatever. I have no idea. I guess if we just stick around here, this is pretty good. Oh, I think this is the border. Crap. Look like we had more space. No. Can I move? Ooh. Okay, that hurt. Okay, you guys need to get out off of me. There we go. You can't even see that freaking border, man. That's crazy. All right. Yeah, that's kind of hurting a little bit. I don't want that to hit me too much. Already damaging my armor a good bit. And we have... These guys coming in, which can also hurt the rider as well. So let's get quick aggressive whistle. There we go. Okay. And everybody in. Ow, 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 ow. That hurts. That hurts so much. Okay. Let's see. How are they doing? They're doing decent. Let me get in here and get some roars going. And boom. We might end up losing the Tyrannus. I just got to stay away from the dragon as much as I can because I think he wants to go for me. If I just keep running around him like this, it's kind of perfect. Uh, okay. Yeah, he just constantly wants to come for me. I get another roar in. Uh, and he's going to shoot fire at me. Go, 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 go. Okay, we're good. Yeah, so this is kind of the, the strat. <laughs> ah, okay. Ow. All right. Uh, yeah, he's turned back around. He just wants me, man. He, I'm just so beautiful. All right. Where the hell is my crispy bacon? Is he in there getting crispy? He might be. He's not really using the fire too much of my guys, I don't think. Yeah, he's actually messing with the fire every single time, which is great. That's why Therizinos are fantastic. Like, they're so small. Um, he is below half health. Like, this is amazing. Okay. The Uteranus is really hurting, though. So we got to probably just take a step back and just let them do their thing. Um, maybe also try and avoid these guys. Let me just heal up a little bit because we're going to need that. Um, I feel like... Why do you choose now to poop? <laughs> I feel like... Um, I don't want to jinx it, but he's not He's not flying. <laughs> I'm kind of okay with this. <laughs> Come on, do it. You guys can do it. Come on. We get the roar. It's risky, but it's worth it. <gasps> Come on. Okay, I'm losing some clothes. I'm taking my clothes off. Oh, quick, quick, quick. Run. No. Okay. There we go. We got it. I was about to say we're out of stamina. Oh, all right, we're good. <laughs> there we go. We didn't even lose a single freaking Therizino. Did you guys even get hurt? Oh my God. Well, you ate your veggie cakes anyway. Let me pick them up. We didn't even lose a single Therizino. And Crispy Bacon's also alive. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it died from the fire at the very end. That's so painful. Where is its bag? Is this you? I think that's you. Yeah. And then what's this? Oh, yeah, that's, that's crispy bacon. All right, cool. Uh, let me grab my reward. Oh, look at all that element. Did they did they make it more element? That's a lot of element. 440? Was it always that amount? I have no idea. Really? 440 is a crap ton. That seems like more than usual. I don't know. I gotta look that up. Look at my, look at my butt. Like, why? <laughs> I posted that on Twitter there the other day. Uh, like my, my ass is just splitting right through the, uh, the underpants, unfortunately. Um, here we go. Oh man. All right. Well, we lost one Therizino at the very end. Technically the dragon did kill it. Um, but yeah, that, that's kind of hilarious. There we go, boys. We have, we've defeated all three bosses. Oh man. Yeah. I'm really happy with that result. I mean, like they did great. They really did. Uh, that one's on 4k, 15k, 12k. Oh, yeah, this one's on like 3k. Okay, yeah, so quite a few. Oh my god, that one's on 700 health. <laughs> yeah, quite a few of them are just on, on freaking death's door right now. So that is, that's super crazy. But, I mean, just in general, they really pulled their own there. I mean, god damn, I'm very surprised that they actually managed to do that. How old are you? Yeah, you got like 15k. Amazing. All right, sweet. All right, well, there we go, guys. Uh, 
I didn't even grab a dermis. No, I should have grabbed a dermis. Ah, all right. Well, we got to do one thing. We got to get back to base real quick. Let me pick you up and let me fly back to base because I got one more thing to do here today. Technically two, but they're related to the same thing. I would say that we probably wouldn't have even lost any of them if they all had more veggie cakes on them. Maybe I was wrong about the cooldown on the veggie cakes. I don't know. I got to look into that again. It's been a while. Usually I just kind of wing it with that type of stuff because I think I know it all, but I, I guess I don't. So yeah, I think uh, next time when we're fighting the dragon, more veggie cakes makes sense. So we'll probably do that. Let's see. So here's what I need to do. First of all, we're going to get this trophy up there. And then secondly, we want to get the flag up there as well. All right. So I'm thinking maybe like here for the dragon trophy. Boom. And then we'll put uh, Fenris right there. And let me get outside. And right around there works. Nice. Okay. So we just need to defeat all three bosses one more time each to fill out the rest of these flags. So we've got, you know, the pattern going here. Broodmother, Megapithecus, Dragon. And then we'll do the exact same pattern again here. I'm not really sure where I'm going to put my Fenris flag because I only plan on fighting that thing once. So... Not 100% sure. I guess I'll have to find a good spot for it. Maybe I can place it on the inside or something. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, yeah, um, we have the flags. We have the trophy. We just need to uh, fill out the rest of these artifacts again because I had to use a bunch of those. But um, yeah, then uh, I guess we're going to have to fight all three of these bosses before we fight Fenris. So lots and lots of things to do. But anyway, guys, that's going to be it for today. If you have enjoyed this video, go ahead, do me a favor, hit the like button. If you want to see more like this, you can, of course, subscribe. And yeah, catch you guys in the next one.